Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to style block quotes for the web using CSS. So, if you're not too sure what block quotes are, essentially they allow you to communicate a message which is typically a quote from a person. So, for example, you might see them on news websites um, or just basically anywhere um, where you would like to quote a person or something along those lines. So, right here are three different examples of what we're going to be creating in this tutorial. So we have up top here the most basic example. We have uh, no quote symbol and no border, just simply text. Um, in the middle here, we've got um, an author, so the person who said the quote or whatever it may be. Then we have a border and then below here, we have basically everything. So we have the little quote icon in the top left corner, um, the border, the author and of course the text. So you can mix and match all of these three different styles in order to create what suits your own scenarios. So let's go inside this tab right here and begin from scratch to create um, or style up block quotes using CSS. So inside the text editor we have right here this index.html file. So firstly let's make a new CSS file here called blockquote.css and this will contain all of the styles for the block quotes. And then of course we can just include this link up the top here so link for CSS and then of course blockquote.css. Okay. Um, cool, so dot forward slash right there. Um, so now let's work on the HTML um, first and then move on to the CSS. So for the HTML, we're going to be using um, the block quotes element right here uh, with a class of block quote. So by default, um, this block quote element is going to apply a slight margin to the text that's within it. So I might just add a new paragraph right here and uh, give this a class. Let's give a class of block quote underscore underscore text. So as usual, using the block element modifier CSS naming convention um, or BEM, but you can of course name these classes whatever you like. I'm going to go inside here and just copy and paste some text which I prepared earlier. Okay, cool. So now saving this and then refreshing uh, gives us this right here. As we can see, by default, the browser has added a margin to the text. So we're going to, of course, apply some CSS to turn this right here into something like this. Okay, so let's go inside uh, the CSS right here and we can begin by firstly targeting the block quotes class just like this. And this of course is the base class for the container, so this one right here. So firstly, let's add a max width of 600 pixels. Of course, this one is completely optional. You may not want to apply a maximum width. Let's also add a margin of 10 pixels for uh, top and bottom and 30 for left and right. Let's add some padding for the text. So let's just say 25 pixels. Um, let's add a background also. So this will be um, hash F8 FFFE. Of course, choose your own colors for the background. I recommend going for an extremely light color that is almost white, but not, um, but of course not actually white. Okay, so that's my color right there. Um, a border of one pixels and then solid and then hash that's going to be B0D2CB. So this color right here is a slightly darker version of the background. So of course, uh, make this color um, in the same color palette um, or same general color as your background. Okay, cool. Um, let's also add a color. This will be uh, essentially just the text color. And this one's going to be 0B4 and then 237. So I've chosen here a much darker, closer to black version of what I've got up here. So make sure all these three colors are of the same general color. Okay. Also, a box sizing of border box is going to help keep things consistent. So we can say border box just like that. So now saving this and refreshing gives us something like this. As we can see, um, you know, uh, most of the base styles when it comes to the container have now been completed. Uh, we can move on to doing the actual text. So for the text, 
and we're going to be uh, including a Google font. So of course this is completely optional uh, once again. So head over to fonts.google.com if you want to include your own custom font. I've chosen the uh, Galassio font or Galassio font. Um, it's a nice um, uh, serif font with a nice italic version. So when you're searching for these fonts, um, I'll just go back here. When you're searching for these fonts, ensure you've chosen um, a serif font right here um, because typically your block quotes are going to be um, serif, but some of them may also be sans serif, of course, completely up to you. Um, but in my example, I'm using a serif font and I've also ensured that they come with an italic version. Okay, so of course right here, um, Gelasio works perfectly fine for me. So I'm going to select it right here and down here, I'll go to customize. I'm going to choose regular 400 italic, regular 400, as well as uh, bold and bold italic. So those are the four fonts we're going to need um, just to sort of, uh, you know, cover every scenario with the bold down here and the italics up here. And if there was to be any bold text inside the actual main text. So let's just go ahead now and select this font by going to the embed section and just copying this link right here to the HTML um, head, okay? So just like that, and now we can actually use the font. So let's go into blockquote.css and just target right here the plot, uh, sorry, uh, the block quote underscore underscore text class. And for this, we're gonna say font family. We're gonna make this Gelasio and then sans serif. Once again, of course, you can use serif fonts or whatever font you like for this, but in my version, I'm using italics um, serif. Okay, actually, you know what? This has to be serif, my mistake. So a serif font with a serif fallback. Let's also add a font style and make this italic. Um, also, let's add a font size of 1.15 em, so 15% bigger than the current font size. Also a line height of 1.5, as well as a margin of zero. So now saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. As we can see, it's looking pretty good so far. However, if I was to go inside here in the HTML and just copy this paragraph once again, let's save this and refresh. We can see now that there is no space between the paragraphs. So that is of course due to our margin of zero. So if we were to actually remove this margin zero and then try again, we now get something like this. So now, even though we have a space here, we have spaces on the top and the bottom, uh, which is sort of crucial questionable. Um, obviously it's personal preference, but for me, I prefer to have no space on the top and bottom. So to solve this issue, let's just put this margin back and go down here and say block quote text. Then we're going to say colon not. And then we're going to say inside here in parentheses, we're going to say last child. So basically we're saying um, to select every block quote text element that is not the last child. And for this, we're going to say margin bottom and make this 1 em. So now saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. We have no space on the top and bottom, but we do have a space between these two paragraphs right here. So of course that margin right there is applying for each paragraph that is not um, the last child. Okay, cool. So we are done uh, with the block quote text. So I'll, go, I'll just go back inside here and uh, remove this second paragraph. Um, and now we can move on to uh, adding this border right here, as well as um, the little author or credit section in the bottom right corner right here. So first, let's start with the border. This is going to be really easy. So let's go back inside here and just add a modifier class to the block quote element. So we're going to say block quote dash dash bordered. Okay. So this right here is a modifier class. Of course, it's going to be modifying the block quote element or component. Okay, so for this, let's go inside the CSS and we're going to say right here, block quote um, dash dash border, just like this. And for the bordered version, we're going to simply increase the border left width. We're going to say border left width and make this 10 pixels. So now saving this and refreshing um, gives us this right here. And that is all for the bordered version. 
So now we can move on to adding the author or the credit, whatever you want to call it, in the bottom right corner. So for this, we're going to be using um, CSS pseudo elements. So let's just go inside the HTML and add a new paragraph tag. And this paragraph tag will have a class of block quote underscore underscore text dash dash credit. Okay, so of course, um, you may want to call this dash dash author completely up to you. For me, I'm going to say credits. And inside here, I'm going to say, for example, uh, Ralph Coleman. Okay, so now saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. So of course, now we can just apply some, uh, you know, our CSS to move this to the uh, to the right side. So I might just go back inside here and make sure that I've actually included the block quote text class as well, because of course this dash dash credit is a modifier for the block quote text class. So now saving this and refreshing gives us um, this right here. So let's go inside the CSS and uh, we can of course target uh, the block quote text, um, uh, block quote text dash dash sorry, uh, so block quote text uh, dash dash um, credit class, okay? And for this, we're gonna simply say font weight and we're gonna make this bold. We're gonna say font style and make this normal just to cancel out um, the italics which we set up here, okay? We're also gonna say text align and make this to the right side. So now saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. So now at this point, you have two options for adding a line right here. Of course, you can simply go inside the HTML and you can say dash and then a space and that's gonna work perfectly fine, giving us uh, this right here. However, um, you may wanna have a CSS only solution um, just to avoid always putting this dash and since the dash is there sort of purely for uh, cosmetic or visual purposes, it may make sense to include it inside the CSS. So we're gonna be doing it that way um, using our CSS pseudo elements, okay? So let's go back inside here and remove this dash and a space and go inside the CSS and we're gonna say block quote uh, text dash dash credit then we're going to say colon colon before so right here this before um, is a CSS pseudo element and essentially this is creating a virtual element um, just before um, the actual content of um, of this element okay so for this we're going to say content and we're going to say right here um, one sec, just to switch my keyboard back to Australia. We're gonna say right here, content, and we're gonna make this uh, backslash 2014 or 2014. And that right there is gonna give us um, a long dash. So now saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. We now have um, the long dash right there. And we can also say inside here, we're gonna, uh, we're, we're gonna say uh, backslash 0020, and this 0020 is gonna give us a space. So now saving this and refreshing gives us this right here, we get the dash and also a space. Um, so now we can move on to simply just including the actual quote in the top left corner. So for this, we're gonna once again be using a CSS pseudo element, which we use down here for the dash. So let's go back inside the HTML and include another pseudo, sorry, um, another modifier class for the block quote. We're gonna say block quote dash dash quoted. Okay, so for this, let's go inside the CSS and we're gonna go down to the block quote section. We're gonna say uh, block quote dash dash quoted. Then we're gonna say colon colon before. So of course, once again, creating a virtual element and the content for this element is gonna be uh, backslash 21C. So this right here is gonna give us um, that left, uh, sorry, uh, that left double quote. So now saving this and refreshing gives us um, this right here. Okay, so let's just increase the font size of this double quote and apply the color and things like that. So let's go back inside here. We're gonna say font size and make this 100 pixels. We're also gonna give this, uh, sorry, we're also gonna give this a color of uh, 009578. This right here is my decode green color. Once again, from the same color palette or same general color as these three up there. We're also going to set a display property of block 
um, and a margin bottom of negative 40 pixels and a margin top of negative 20 pixels. So I might just comment out these two lines right here to demonstrate its purpose. I'm now going to save this and then refresh and we can see we get this right here. So of course it looks pretty nice however. Um, there's a lot of space between uh, the actual text and uh, the text down here. So using those negative margins right here is going to cancel that out. So saving this and refreshing gives us that right there. And of course, um, that is the final result. And once again, you can mix and match um, these modifier classes um, and of course the inclusion of the credit section um, to create something that works for you in your own scenario. So that is how to create or style block quotes, sorry, block quotes um, for the web using CSS. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.